Hey guys, it's Chuggy Conroy. We are back here for more Earthbound. Alright, now, got the wad of bills and everything like that. Now, last time we were here I was saying we can't go to the Chaos Theater yet. Now we seem, now we can actually. Here with the girl today, he must be pretty popular. How would I interest my bandmate? He's right there. We talked to Lucky. Hey, you came with Paula. You deserve a present, playboy. Oh. Backstage pass, you can't with this. Well, I think he got the wrong impression of he, if we showed up with a girl and he called us Playboy. <laughs> I think we got the wrong, I think he kind of got the wrong impression from us, but whatever. Yeah, dude, this game is not rated M for mature. Oh! And guess who it is? The flying man from above. Picture's taken instantaneously. I'm a photographic genius if I do this so myself. Okay, get ready for an instant memory. Look at the camera! Ready! Save! Fuzzy Pickles! Oh, God, that was horrible. I'm sorry. I won't do that again. Well, what a great photograph. It will always bring back the fondest of memories. Yeah, well, this recording is not going to bring back the fondest of memories, I'll tell you that much. Alright. Now we'll go inside. Because now we can get in, because we have a pass. Um, only get this when we had Paula. Actually, if we would have talked to them before getting Paula, he would have said, come back when we have a date. So, that's kind of the, uh, hint that we got right there. I want to see Poochie Fudd, the manager. Okay, this guy's name is Poochie Fudd, but in the Japanese version, his name is, uh, Dog Food. Which is, you know, like a poochy fud dog food. It's kind of a cool thing. Use the backstage pass, you know. Here you go. Hurry. Just time to see the Runaway 5 show. Apparently, the Runaway 5 is all the rage. Runaway 5 is all the rage in here. But, real quick, um, before I go in, I want to show this. Let's talk to the manager. Pardon? Do you want to talk about money? How about later after the show? We're talking big bucks. And we got rolls about handling money matters. Alright, so let's present our backstage pass just one more time. I just wanted to show that real quick. I'm kind of disorganized in this part because we were kind of supposed to come here and talk to the NPCs in here before, but we didn't. Alright, now let's see what these people got to say. Hey, you kids, how'd you get tickets? What are you, the owner's kids or something? This stuff again, I'm kind of disappointed. Alright, no good looking waitresses. If you look at this guy, he's actually a drunk. Look at that. He's drinking a mug of beer, and he's got like a red pie face. You'll see him a few times throughout the game. Free tech entertainer company's business. Taking a runaway five show. They're coming in, but just tell them. Here's the hippie. All right, now this kid is kind of funny. Let's talk to him. Hey, don't get too close to me. I just farted. <laughs> Sorry. Boyfriend lost ticket. <laughs> yeah, it must be the guy we saw out there. World famous someday. Sweater spit on me from the way five. Well, gee, that's just. That is glamorous. Kids are bouncing off talking to everyone. It's getting annoying. <laughs> la la la. I just love ragtime. Alright, now we gotta talk to this girl. We have to talk to her. Lucky of the runaway five. Told me I'd get it back. Go backstage. But I don't have a pass. Sure, security will stop me. Hey, really? You have a pass? I can't believe it. Can you take me with you? Please, please, please. I'll pose your sister. Yes, this rocks. Let's go. Ooh, my heart is pounding. Alright, now we go backstage with her. I'm so excited, I might just wet myself. My heart is going pitter-patter. Well, gee, that's nice. Hey, yeah, get that. See, I'll show you like a kid. I hope you pay attention. All right, that was a really bad accent. I want some bread. I need coinage. I want more dough all the time. I wrote the lyrics to Mustard Runner five times. Money, that's what I want. Money, that's what is hot. Money, that's, that's what I want. Money, that's what we ain't got. Sip freedom. Freedom's what we really saw. Okay, I won't sing anymore. <laughs> I'm sorry, when I sing on camera, I get carried away. Shabadoo wop diddly dee da shabadoo doo wop be wop ba! Okay. I actually did that pretty good. I got those dead blues. Mm -hmm. If I had $10,000, I could pay up my debts and move on to the next town. I wonder if our bus still runs. It must be rusted out! Okay. I'm sorry, I said I wouldn't run anymore. So now we're the only act playing here. So they, it seems like they're really in deep debt, and they can't get out of here. They're forced to perform here to pay off their debt. Real quick, let's show them the water bills and see what he does. Uh, try using your play money here, kid. Oh my gosh, that's not real money, is it? Wow, alright. So, we gotta use this water bills to get them out of debt. Because apparently they're good guys, and they're being stuck here, and we gotta do that. Now, the sprites of all the people in here disappear, because apparently if you do debug mode and you make it so the sprites don't disappear in this part... Um, there's a ton of just glitching and slowdown and flickering and just glitchy crap all over the screen during this scene right here. 
Yeah, that's right. Tonight you get the chaos leader summon coming at you, rocking and rolling live on this here stage for a limited time only. The world's greatest bluesman, the Runaway Five, and here they come. Oh yeah, baby. Okay, I gotta quit sounding like Bubs from Homestar Runner, or whatever. But yeah, this scene will glitch like crazy if you go into debug mode and you make it so that the sprites in the audience stay there. Because with all these animations going on that you'll see here in a minute, and all the people in the audience, it just screws with the SNES's processor. Do 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 do. I love this song. Now, why was this song not in Super Smash Brothers Brawl? Seriously. Oh, by the way, you see right there, they have red and green suits. Uh, in the Japanese version, they have black suits. A lot of people believe that, you know, a short, fat red guy and a tall, skinny green guy would kind of be reminiscent of Mario and Luigi, I guess. So they changed them in the American version. Also notice they're the Runaway 5, and they have six band members. In the Japanese version, they're called the uh, Tenzura Brothers. And if you're playing Super Smash Brothers Melee, and you look at the uh, black bus that sometimes drives by in Winnet, you'll see that it's actually the Runaway 5's bus, and it actually does say Tenzura on the side. I think you really get some wrong questions. Wrong questions. All right. um, but yeah, that's kind of a cool tidbit of knowledge right there that it, they actually went into that much detail. I guess we'll do it. Type it, give it away. Let's see if we say no. All right. Figure it out. Just keep my baseball anyway. <laughs> yeah, such a so sophisticated game. Yeah, really. Okay. So now that it's after the show, let's go ahead and go. Oh, pardon me. I'm gonna have five owe me a lot of money. They'll stay here until they pay me back. Might be here for a hundred years, unless you decide to pay off their debt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of bills. Excuse me? Is that you got there? Let's take a real close look. Okay, let's take a real close look. Yipes! You surprised me. Now I'm not sure what to do. I got the money, of course, and now they're running five are free to leave. I get no complaints now that I have my money. Yay! Oh, what do you know? This little number took us from a nightmare to a dream. Uh, in the Japanese version, he doesn't say nightmare to a dream. He says, basically, took us from hell to heaven. That one I'm pretty sure about. I was wrong about my last hell-heaven uh, analogy, though, but this one I'm pretty sure about. Since we can get out of this dump. Yeah, it looks kind of like... Oh, I'll show you. This place is actually a lot of a dump. In fact, it actually, now that I look at it, the way that the walls and the floor and everything are, it reminds me a lot of the theater that I used to work at. <laughs> Yeah, this looks just like my old workplace. Oh, pardon me. I'm gonna try and find when they finally leave. That's life. Okay. Well, uh, we've saved the Runaway 5 from that. Let's go to 3! Our bus is too loud for ghosts to bother us. Do you want to ride? Yes. Oh, yeah, let's go. Get on the bus. Okay, now, there would be ghosts blocking our way to 3 here. Okay, so here we go. Hey, sidewalk, get out of my way! Hey. You can actually run over that dog if you let the sprite move into the middle of the road, which I thought was kind of funny. It doesn't do any special animation, it just looks really weird, the bus traveling through it. Um, but anyway. Um, yeah, if we were to try to go down here before, there would be ghosts in this tunnel right here, and they would just send us back to the beginning of the tunnel, and we could never get through. But this bus goes fast, and it's got loud music bumping in it and everything, though, so it'll just drive the ghosts away. They can't get us. Okay, now I really hope this makes it before we hit 10 minutes, though, because I'm kind of nervous that it's not going to. Eh, never mind, we'll be fine. Go in the tunnel. Now, here come the ghosts I was telling you about. There's ghosts. They'll chase after us, but they can't get us in this bus. If we were to just take an ordinary bus, it wouldn't happen like that, because the ordinary bus is too slow, and it doesn't have the cheery music playing. The power of music! And now, three, she said that we would meet a nice new friend here. This place better be a nice, friendly town. Oh! Oh, it is not a friendly town. Wow. Wow, I sure'd hate to see the kind of friend we're gonna meet here. According to Paula's psychic powers. Looks like we're say goodbye to your students pretty gloomy, but I'm sure you can light a place in your own little brand of sunshine. Alright, well, this place doesn't sure look too great. See you again sometime. Of course, we're seeing the, some theater in Foresight. Alright, when we get to Foresight, we'll be sure to look for them. Okay, so we made it to three. Um, I'm gonna cut this right here. Uh, if you like this part, um, I guess subscribe to my videos up in the corner, the big yellow button. Give me a good five star rating down below this video, and be sure to check out some of my other parts if you like this one. I get the feeling a lot of people are gonna think this part is freaking hilarious, even though I'm embarrassed by it. All right, well I'll talk to you guys later.